I am Vikas Kumar, BSc Nursing 4th year student of College of Nursing SGPJ MS. Today, I am going to show you the procedure neonatal resuscitation. About 90% of the baby after the delivery do not require any kind of intervention for breathing. About 10% of the baby require assistance in breathing after the delivery. And about only approximately 1% of the baby require extensive neonatal resuscitation after the delivery. So now I will show you neonatal resuscitation. Just after the delivery of the baby, we will check whether the baby is breathing well or not. If it is not breathing well, immediately uh, clamp the cord and cut it. And then transfer the baby under the radiant former. After transferring the baby under the radiant former, we will uh, position the baby in such a manner that his head and chin is extended and with the help of the shoulder roller. Okay. After positioning, we will assess the heart rate and breathing for 6 seconds. After assessing the heart rate and the breathing, we will select the uh, bag or the mask of uh, appropriate size. The size should be 0 for the preterm baby and 1 for the term baby. Generally, the mask should be put in such a manner that it covers the mouth and the nose up to the chin. Okay. Then we will start giving the positive pressure ventilation. So we will initially give 5 pressure positive uh, pressure ventilation for, which we will prolong for 2 to 3 seconds. So here it is 1, 2 squeeze, 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 1, 2 squeeze. Whether the ventilation or PPV which, which has been given is correct or not, it will be checked if the chest rise is seen. If the chest rise is seen, it indicates good ventilation technique. If the chest rise is not seen, that it indicates that the, there has been leakage in the mask or there is a spitting problem or there is loose connection between the mouth and the mask. So after that, we will again assess the heart rate and breathing for 6 seconds. After that, we will uh, try to connect the baby to the pulse oximeter and we will check the heart rate. If the baby is not uh, breathing well or heart rate is less than 100, then uh, in that condition, we will again start giving PPV, that is a positive pressure ventilation. We will start giving until the heart rate becomes normal. 1, 2, squeeze, 1, 2, squeeze, 1, 2, squeeze, 1, 2, squeeze, 1, 2, squeeze. Okay, so along with this, we can also administer oxygen. Oxygen, we should ensure that the saturation of the oxygen should be 90 to 95 percent, especially in the condition of the preterm baby because it may cause the serious damage to the retina and it may also cause the blindness to the baby. And if the heart rate is still less than 100, then in that condition, we need to refer the baby to the center. Thank you.